this is my setup. Maybe later on I'm gonna have a um, actual deep connected to it, but I bought this cheap light. Let me see some LEDs about, I believe it's uh, seven of them. A couple bucks. Just connected right now, it's direct. So, we have a stepper motor from a, a stepper machine. <laughs> And uh, this is my wind turbine. We got some PSP uh, two inch, cut it in half and put it in a sort of like a, I don't know, like three degrees. Cut it like in a little angle so you can grab the air and just throw it out. I might, I might just put a hole here so it, that the wind could actually move touch in and just like reflect it just move down but I want to like salvage or I want to like um, save that air and just use it in a way that may perhaps come down and use it recycle it so it could go through the middle somehow and create kind of like a hole like a like um how do you call those like a tornado not a tornado but like um I don't know what to call it, but um, this is it. I saw measured up, and it's nothing in the middle. At first, I had it in the center. I had a a rod that went in through, but it just doesn't make that much of a difference. It really doesn't make it any sturdier. Made by a little bit, but it really, really doesn't. I think it's lighter like this, and it's better. Um, I think with this horizontal shape. I think if I face it upside down, since the weight is on the bottom, um, I think that's why it's lagging just a little bit. I'm going to give it a try later on, on the second video, and see how that works. But I believe that it's going to work better because it's just going to be hanging, you know, and um, yeah, maybe in an angle probably works like a wheel, it might work a little better. I'm going to try all angles and post them up on YouTube and see what's up. But, uh, yep, this is my wind turbine, and I'm going to show you how it works. Um, right now we're obviously in my garage, but um, I'm going to turn off the lights, and we're going to see that turn on, and I'm going to turn a couple of fans on. Only one fan, actually, the big, big pop hole over here. All right, um, let's go over here with the lights. There goes one out. And we're gonna give it a little start. Okay. And it'll start by itself. Let me just turn this off. So everything is out. And everything out. We're gonna speed it up a little. And see what's in there. Speed it on. You can see the LED is actually already starting to light up by itself. You see that? And there it goes. Oh, awesome. It's free energy. Yeah. I'm thinking if I put a jewel thief, it might make it like fully bright. Right now, um, I saw the meter is about, it's almost three volts. It is, you know, just uh, generating by itself. But if I do that, or drill teeth, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm barely learning. I'm, I'm not an expert on this electrical stuff. But um, uh, why not? I mean, if I put a drill teeth, I mean, it might, it might brighten it up a little bit. And um, I'm thinking probably put this light instead of the front light that I have that is using 120 volt. I'm just going to replace that with that. And it'll be like a permanent light that is always lit in the front my house because it's most of the time it's all it's um we have that on or the outside of the garage as you can see like the little window right there but um yeah i'm gonna speed it up right now with uh with the with the, with the compressor so you guys could see what we got over here if i could find sorry guys if I could find real quick that air deal, 
think I put it here sunk. Uh oh, I got caught somewhere. Let me turn the light on real quick because I don't know where I put it right now. But um, I think it's right here somewhere. It's gotta be because I just had it in my hand. at night probably neighbors are pretty grumpy at me it's all right they're used to it Lighting me up. See that? That thing is bright. It's pretty bright. You know? and, and right now it's just a continuous. So I'm guessing if I put this up like on top of my house, it would be crazy because you know, it would look cool and probably put a couple of LEDs on the actual wheel so when it turns it looks like something you saw hovering around or I don't know it's just pretty cool well thank you guys for watching